and right back where we started, or right back where we ended the last video. Obviously, this is being recorded directly after the last one. Monroe, I've accessed their computer system. I'm researching those generators. Telsey is ahead. Yeah. Um, okay, there's no way through there. There she is. Telsia. Can you disable this force field? I don't see a way. I'm retrieving the location of the generators. This can't be good. You will be There's another one in there. Now, now my original attempt at recording this segment, I actually failed this once. Because I had no idea where I was going. And she's not looking too good. Come on, crouch speed, be faster. There we go. To say, hopefully, I wouldn't fail again. There we go. the dampening field generators. They're up in subjunction 37 near the Borg Central Plexus. Good job. They beamed in right after I decrypted data about new drone technology. That must be some important data. They didn't beam in even when we were shooting up the place. That means they classified us as a threat. This just got messy. We need to get on the lift to subjunction 37. I fed the location to your tricorder. Actually, let's scan the board drones. I'm just curious to see if, uh... Oh, God. Oh. I'm gonna try to ign ignore them, because... If I fight them, they'll adapt to my weaponry. Unless I have the I mod, which I don't. And I'm heading the wrong way again. Yeah, yeah, that happened last in the last attempt of this segment as well. Um, when I had the shitty video quality. We wish to That one, sh I thought, should be unlocked. Um, oh, wait a minute. I remember now. Hold on. Yeah, I remember. I think. Yeah. There we go. And... Come on, guys, get up here. So long, board drone. There we go. Oh great, they've already adapted to that. Oh wait, no they haven't. <laughs> there are too many of them and there's only one and three of us. Okay, that one, that's the one I shot from up here. Uh, come on guys, you better keep up. Come on. I like how I can just sort of leave them behind and they'll warp behind, warp up to me, which is good for my sake. All right. Monroe to Voyager. How's Chang? 
The doctor expects him to make a full recovery. We're proceeding to the dampening field generator so we can release Voyager. Monroe out. And... There's another one! Looks like the Borg want to play. Monroe, come that force field has a control console. I am gonna kill these two. Because if I don't, I'll be attacked by them. Come on, guys. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh. That note was jamming us. Our iMods work again. Excellent. I thought that was later, actually, that I got the iMod back. Or the ability to use it back. Nope. I don't sweat you no more. I actually don't know what the reload button is on my uh, control scheme. I should probably learn that. Holy shit, the uh, alt fire on this thing has a ton of uh, bad reload. Er, recovery time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up what my uh, reload is. V. Okay. Actually, does R have any purpose right now? I should have looked this up earlier. Drop rune slash bomb. Okay. Fine, I guess I won't change it to R then. Well, destroy that. Is there a choice to go back to There's Voyager? <laughs> I don't know if you miss or paying attention to that, but uh, Telsia said to Chell that uh, that he can get a medical deferment if she breaks his legs because he wants to go back. Uh, and. Oh, destroy that. Even though I most definitely do not need to be conserving iMod ammo like this, I... There's another one! Another distribution node vaporized! I will try not to, uh... I will try not to use them. Use the Watch ammo. Out. Incoming drones! Look out! Generators. All right. Uh, okay, just making sure there wasn't any enemy. Enemies behind me. All right. Now here's the first of many of these. Basically, the idea is to match the break the wavelengths together. You can see this and this. These two need to match up. And these are pseudo-randomly generated because it was not like this before. And there you go. These really aren't that hard, especially given that as Generator deactivated. at least for right now, they have no time, time limit. Is running short. Find the two remaining now, generators. I do think later on you do have a time limit to do those, and, and by that point, uh, it might actually get sort of hard. Okay, I should not shoot them until they fully load in, because I don't think they take damage until they are fully loaded in and actually begin moving. Okay, power coupling. And yes, unnecessary cutscenes for uh, the force fields being deactivated. Is this? Oh, that's where I just came from. There's another one. There's another one. A 
second generator. And I think now I can just, uh... Oh, no. No, Chell needs to be there. Okay. That's two generators down. The Borg have come out of their regeneration cycle. They're adapting to our new shield technology. We don't have much time. Okay, V for reload. Too bad I can't strafe like twice as fast as my normal walk speed, like in a golden eye and perfect dark. And this is gonna take all that energy. Yeah, because I've used a ton of ammo so far. And... Where, there it is. Third generator. Okay. Okay. I was wondering what these were for, and it's for nothing of value. Mm, there we go. There we go. Voyager. How's that dampening field? It has dissipated. Voyager is ready to depart. Three to beam out. And mission complete. Or so we think. Team Tuvok. They are safe on Voyager. We are having difficulty transporting you through the anti lepton interference. We had to send your pattern back to the Borg vessel. We're in the Borg vessel. The Borg central plexus. Your primary objective is to avoid alerting them to your presence. Yeah, you transported me back to a central something and want me to avoid presence. Or avoid alerting their presence. And meet the Borg Super Drone. That's what I call it. Too late. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a dumb shit. Get it. Get Voyager out. We are staying until you are on board. Okay. That's not logical. Go before they regenerate the damn field. And so yeah, I just repeat this pattern over and over and over again. And this, this guy does take a lot of punishment. And no, you cannot use anything other than the eye mod because it automatically adapts to your uh, phaser and uh, compression rifle. I will show that off right now, actually. Yeah, some. Oh, I guess it doesn't automatically 
Oh, I guess it doesn't automatically adapt. Huh. Okay. Ah. I thought it... Okay, I could have sworn it did. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. You still want to use your iMod for it. Yeah, that don't do near enough damage. And I could just be a complete cheap ass and hide behind the wall. And those... Those balls do a lot of damage. he lost his whole arm, or at least a good bit of it. And yeah, basically all he does now is just uh, teleport behind, behind you and try to do this weird, this weird charge attack that never works. mod does more damage. There you go, you're dead. Assimilation is futile. Voyager to Monroe. The interference is gone. Prepare for transport. Okay, Voyager. Let's go home. satisfactory outcome. Starfleet is reasonably pleased. Reasonably? 
Here are your new assignments. Telsia, you will command the security force on the USS Dallas. Chell... We're breaking up the hazard team? Precisely. Chell, you are assigned to the research outpost in the Guernica system. Not even a starship? Precisely. Monroe, I've assigned you to teach small group tactics here at Starfleet Academy. You also assigned Tuvok to teach math? Monroe is nursemating cadets? Precisely. That is his best use. Saving lives is no longer useful? Read Janeway's report. She said the hazard team is a vital asset. Precisely. Vital to the Delta Quadrant. Your so-called hazard team relied on non-regulation tactics. And no so-called star bases for backup. Precisely. Here in the Alpha Quadrant, traditional away teams are sufficient. The hazard team takes missions that are too hot for traditional away teams. There is no hazard team. Oh, yes, there is. And it outnumbers you. What? What was that? Everyone calm down. Stemmons, what Captain Janeway prized was our ability to improvise flexible tactics for any situation. Precisely. Such extemporaneous tactics are no longer appropriate. You should be grateful we have a place for you at all. Why aren't you grateful for a chance to relax after seven long years of strife? I don't understand this at all. Precisely. You don't understand. At all. I can't believe he's disbanding the Hazard Team. Come on, Monroe. Just give me five minutes along with him. So you can be thrown into the brig? Chang's right. We have to do something. How do incompetent people end up with such important jobs? Maybe we can get him fired for being a hack. Whoa. Even Chell wasn't this bloodthirsty fighting the Borg. I'm going to file an appeal with Starfleet Command. Someone in the chain of command will listen to reason. And if that doesn't work? Then we make some hard choices. Damn. Okay, so the hazard team is disbanded, or for now they are, but uh, next time we'll find out what will happen to them in the future, and by the future I mean next segment. See you then.